Today is the day WooCommerce users have been waiting for. Utheme Pro 2.5 adds the much anticipated WooCommerce Builder. Now, you can not only design your shop with dedicated WooCommerce elements in the Builder, but also load any product field into the existing Utheme Pro elements. This unique feature from Utheme Pro gives you endless possibilities for your shop. But that's not all. Besides WooCommerce, we added advanced filtering for all custom sources and a new related post field. Do you have your attention? Then let's dive right in! Utheme Pro 2.5 introduces 18 new WooCommerce elements to the page builder, which allow you to fully customize your entire WooCommerce shop. Simply create templates for the shop and single product pages, as well as the categories and tech archives, and arrange the new elements within your layout using page builder sections, rows and columns. The elements load the partial WooCommerce template files, like the product price, rating, or the Add to Cart button, and have all the general element settings. And of course, you can mix them with all the other Utheme Pro elements or any WooCommerce widget. The products element is even more powerful. It renders the WooCommerce product shortcode, which is why it can be used on any page and has all the available shortcode options. For example, you can display on sale, best rated or best selling products right on your homepage and filter them by category, tags or stock keeping unit. By the way, breadcrumbs, pagination and reviews do not have separate elements, since this functionality is already available in Utheme Pro. The updated breadcrumbs element works just like the WooCommerce breadcrumbs, while the product reviews can be shown using the comments element. Everything till this point is what you would expect from a common page builder. But Utheme Pro has the groundbreaking feature of mapping content into any Utheme Pro element. And it's now available for WooCommerce. You can show your products in slideshows, sliders, galleries or any other Utheme Pro element, including all their custom fields. But when should I use the WooCommerce sources and not the WooCommerce elements? Well, first of all, with dynamic content, you can map the product fields into any Utheme Pro element and make use of all its features. And unlike most WooCommerce elements that can only be used on the product pages, with custom sources you can map the products anywhere on your site. So you can mix both techniques to get the best result. Since the WooCommerce elements and sources still render partial WooCommerce template files, we had to either overwrite these files or customize their CSS. We decided to leave the template files as they are to make Utheme Pro update proof even if WooCommerce updates its template files. Instead, we completely reworked the WooCommerce CSS in every detail. All the different product types and states as well as WooCommerce widgets will look great in your shop. We also added new WooCommerce options to the Style Customizer, so you can easily change the look of your shop without writing any code. Here you will find different style options like font, color and margins for the product price, title and rating. Of course, you can set them differently for the shop and single product pages. Some UI components in WooCommerce were rarely used in our demo websites, which is why we made some extra effort and optimized them in all our styles. These include the badge, form range, navbar and search toggles, form focus, as well as the card badge. While this sounds like a small thing, it was a huge workload for our designers, who had to test and update the components in almost 40 styles. But we think it's worth it, because we really care about the quality in our style library. As icing on the cake, we added the quantity to the card menu item. You can show the card quantity in brackets or as a badge. And of course, use an icon instead of the text for the card menu item. Variable products can now show the lowest price instead of the price range. What's really cool is that they adjust their price, stock and description depending on the chosen variation. If the products are on sale, you can show the sale price before or after the regular price. Additionally, products have an option to set the number of columns for the gallery thumbnails. To show you the full potential of Utheme Pro 2.5, we have completely reworked our two e-commerce theme packages, Baloo and TechSpace. 
we converted their content structure to WooCommerce and created new layouts and templates for all the WooCommerce pages. They are now fully functional shops. Just install the demo package and start adding your own products. That's all for WooCommerce. Now let's look at the other features. Uthin Pro 2.5 comes with huge improvements to filter custom sources. Before, you could only limit custom sources by categories and tags, showing only posts from all selected terms. Now you can set the logical operator to match at least one of the terms, none of the terms or all terms. This gives you more control over how the terms are compared and what posts are loaded. We added another filter option for custom sources. In addition to filtering posts by taxonomies like categories or tags, you can also filter them by user. If you're using dynamic content, you may have been waiting for this feature, the related posts field. Till now, to load posts from the same category, you had to pick them manually. Now all posts have a related posts field by default, and the relationship is not just limited to categories. You can set the logical operators for how the posts relate to categories, tags, users, or any other custom taxonomy, and even exclude upsell and cross-sell products. Of course, it goes without saying that the current post is excluded. With Uthin Pro 2.5, you can limit the template assignment by language, which is very useful for multilingual sites. From now on, Uthin Pro shows a What's New dialog after an update, showing all its highlights. It's a common software practice, and we hope this way no one will miss the new features and can start using them right away. The information is loaded from the local news markdown file in the Uthin Pro theme folder and is only shown once after the update. To show it again, click a button next to the changelog in the Uthin Pro About panel. The header and toolbars are now also available as menu positions. It's a nice shortcut to publish menus without having to create modules. If you do use menu modules, you can also set options for their number item in the layout header panel, which was not possible before. Additionally, menu modules can be rendered as nav, sub nav, or icon nav on any position. Last but not least, we added an option in Joomla to pick an image for the menu item to the navbar items panel, so it's just like in WordPress. The socials element also got a small update. You can now either use one of the icons available in the UIKit icon library or pick a custom image. We also updated the icon list and added icons for Discord, TikTok and Twitch. In addition, social icons can now be aligned vertically. Some smaller features sneaked into Uthin Pro 2.4 since they were needed for our DevStack theme package. And here is a quick walkthrough. We added a menu divider option for all menus, the menu positions, the nav element, and the menu modules and widgets. Multiple items element can have a different length text for each item. Buttons in all Uthin Pro elements have a new full width option. We added a new animation option to the grid and gallery elements. Before, the element animation always applied to the items. Now you can select whether to animate the element itself or its items. Additionally, the filter animation in the grid and gallery elements can be disabled. And finally, custom posts in WordPress can be ordered by post order, which corresponds to the article order in Joomla. This requires the free WordPress post types order plugin, which allows you to order posts using drag and drop. Uthin Pro 2.5 comes with even more improvements and fixes. For example, you no longer need to add REST API base lag for custom post types in WordPress. We solved a long-standing issue in Joomla where the Uthin installer plugin got uninstalled together with WidgetKit or Zoo. The menu accordion option now works in the modal and of canvas layouts. And the number text items can no longer be closed by click if in hover mode. For the full list of features and fixes, check out the changelog. You 
Fifteen Pro 2.5 not only introduces the long-awaited WooCommerce Builder, but it also brings great refinements for dynamic content. So what's next? All we can say is that we started looking into improving the menus, if you know what that means. Now go ahead and try Uthim Pro 2.5 yourself. As always, we're looking forward to your feedback, so let us know what you think in the comments below.